So today, Kendra and I are here to show you our favorite Halcyon Yarn hats. We've got quite a few lined up for you. We've got a special hat, the Alpine Topper, that we're going to go over a few of the techniques with you. Um, very popular hat for lots of different reasons, with lots of different yarn choices and colors. And we just wanted to get you going for winter with things to Some keep good projects. Warm. We could probably start on the end and go through and show you the different hats that have been really popular in the shop that customers have really taken to. Yep. Um, most of these are really quick projects, so... With very soft yarn. Yeah. So on the far end, we've got the family favorite hat, which is done with super bulky Como, which is a merino, super soft against your head. You can <coughs> do it all in one color. You can see that you can have stripes and ear flaps or not. Then we have the Como Cuddler, which has the scarf attached, the ear flaps, they come right down. And we had originally done it in a solid color. For adults, more yes. serious. But then Gwyn had the great idea of? Well, my daughter's spoiled because her mom works in a yarn shop. And she <laughs> likes very soft yarn and lots of colors, so she picked four different colors. And we decided to make it more fun for the kid set, but we have had adults make it in four different colors. You need four balls of yarn to make it either way, so you're not spending any more money. Yeah. Um, this is Meredith's new version, which she's very attached to, but I stole it from her today. But it's super soft. This is her second one, so you can't really go wrong with Como for the no. kids. No. Or itching, adults. No itching, no itching. Then in the middle we have the checkerboard hat, which is done in a machine washable Bulky weight, Peru, wool blend. Originally done in the Cascade. Baby alpaca, which you can do it out of both. Right, any bulky weight will yep. do it. This, we like this one especially because of its washability. The Peru is, you're gonna love it. We have some customers who have done their favorite sports team. Yes, colors. Uh, Susan, who works here for her grandson, she did, did purple, purple and gold Lakers for the colors. Lakers. For, yeah. Yeah. Then we come to our feature today, the Alpine Topper, which uh, originally was designed using a bulky weight self-striping wool, which is Eero from Noro. And you can see as you knit, you get these gradual colors that just fade and come right up. Lots of interest. And yeah. Interest. It's knit on a slightly smaller needle than you would traditionally knit a bulky weight to give it a little bit more. It's of a dense, very dense yeah, wind break the wind hat. But the best feature <coughs> is that we've combined the Como. Looks like it's just any yarn, but the kicker. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait for oh, it. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> is the inside because you strand it, and it's so soft, and that's all merino, yep. and it goes right against double knit. Yep. I have three boys. Super soft. They hate wool hats. Love these. Yeah, love yeah. them. Yeah. Um, so that's a great feature. We're going to show you the stranding to make sure that you have enough elasticity in it. Um, you want it to be too tight. Yeah. The uh, I personally love the hat because of the color choices. Can't go wrong. No. So many possibilities. Here are. The Eero in a ball is, you know, this is what it looks like before you wind it. In a so skein. In a skein. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, ball skein. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go any direction you want with the Como. You know, this is a beautiful hat. You're going to get these nice pear-colored flecks. Oh, don't like pear. Love pink. Oh, look. A little more conservative. Oh, black. Look. Classic. Elegant. Yeah. yeah. So it's... We can't stop making them because you can't burn out of colors. But if you're not into... If you don't want the striping. Yeah. If you don't want to pay... It's like a $22 ball of yarn here, which makes the most amazing hat. But if you'd rather do it on a budget, maybe make two hats for the price. Brown Lamb's sheet. Pride. Yeah. Bulky. Uh, we selected a variety of tonal colors. Because they're more fun. Yeah, we couldn't bring ourselves to solid color, but you can go solid color. Um, and you can see, you're going to get basically um, one shade, but lots of different yeah. 
uh, coming in there. So and then a favorite of mine. Your store favorite, Azapa. Azapa. Talk about soft. Ah, oh, yeah. My husband's a little bit more conservative, so I went Azapa. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't quite bring himself for the striping. Black Como. Yeah. Um, so. Because with the Azapa, you have all these, uh, the flex Don't of black. Yep. So, uh, you know, it's natural to tie in the black for me. But Alpaca's you could go. Alpaca's silk. Yeah. Yummy. But the feel is unbelievable. And knitting with the Azapa, one of my favorites. Crazy great. So one hat, little millions of choices. Yeah, been knitting them forever and never run out. Yeah, you can choose when you finish to adorn it with a tassel or a braid. So those are two options when you finish it. Too much fun. Too much fun. Uh, so Should we next one? thing we're going to do is we're going to clear off some space and have you focus on some needles and we're going to show you the stranding technique to make sure that you get enough elasticity and a good fit on the head. Um, it's just using two colors, the Fair Isle, um, carrying them along. But what most people have a tendency to do when they first start out is when they go to carry, they pull their yarn really tight. And in order to prevent that, what I always do, especially with this hat, so that you have the stretch, is before I pick up the como, I stretch out my stitches, then I go with the como, get my Eero, three Eero, and now before I go with my como again, I give it a little stretch so that I don't have those stitches crunching together. You don't want the hat to be too tight. No. And it you can see... Really change um, the circumference of your hat. It's nice and fluffy. So it's, it's got a nice, comfortable feel, plus the stretch. Can you see the... Give. Yeah. Lots of give. If we were too tight and carrying the Como, you wouldn't even be able to get any stretch at all. Yeah. So that's really... Um, the most important thing with this hat. Yep. Um, otherwise, you know, you're casting on, knit, purl stitch. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Remember just when you're knitting with the two colors before you join the second one. What are we going to do? Tug those stitches oh, back, Oh, tug, tug, tug. Give them some stretch. I yeah. knit color work with two hands. But still, all I need to do is give it that little, make sure they're separated before I reach up with that comb off. Yeah. Because you don't, you just want it to be nice. You want those floats to be nice and long. You don't want to have this situation going on like that. And when this is knit on a size 16 needle, and the thing you may think, ooh, when you look at it is when it's all gathered in, it looks like there's a lot, there's a bit of too much, yep. but don't, one, don't worry, don't worry, because once it gets to its proper sizing and stretched out, yep. perfect. And I'm actually knitting mine on a 24 <gasps> because the 16 hurts my hands oh. badly. I guess there's no, there are no rules. There are no rules. No rules. It fits around the 24 just barely. I'm having to give it a little bit of an extra, but the Eero knit at this gauge is a very tight yarn. Mm -hmm. I was having trouble on my 16, so I pulled out a 24. So I am going to be able to see that they're nice and flat. Yeah. So that's really all there is. You can see then you're working a little bit of garter to... Because, let's just mention very quickly, that Beth Emery, who you've seen in a few other of our videos, has a friend who asked, I don't wear hats, I'm, they're too hot. Is there any way to make this into a headband pattern for my friend? It's already set up. If you cast on, get the pattern, do your, your cast on, you're doing a little bit yep. of garter here. Maybe do five to six rows of the carry, mm -hmm. and then do your garter again, and you've got an instant ear warmer Headband. done. Yep. Super soft. We'll have one of those for you guys to see. So, it was a very good idea. Brainstorming, yep. always a good idea. So, and then you're decreasing 
in even intervals. Looking good. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. all there is. Next, we'll probably be looking forward to a video. Um, the checkerboard hat has a braided edge that I don't get, so I haven't made the hat. But we have people here who've made them and really get it, so we'll try to get that on video for you guys. So and that the you braid can all try is, the checkerboard hat. The braid's great. I, I put heard it on, it's easy. And I put it on my Christmas stockings for the boys. Really so you're going to want to use it, it in more than your hats. I think so. Okay. I did. <laughs> so. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Wear your toppers. Toppers, toppers, toppers. Keep the window. <laughs>